Mayor Didi Lopez, um, I am coming in a little later than I typically would, but I am here to show you a few things tonight um, on some exercises. Um, just keep in mind when we exercise, it is uh, the intention is functionality. So when we exercise, we're just not exercising for tomorrow. We're actually exercising for the next 10 years. We're looking for progression for the next 10 years. And because of that, um, we ne really need to watch our form and alignment. So today I'm going to go over three different exercises, and then I'm going to go over a stretch. Um, whenever we do exercises and um, we feel like there is um, a tightness. You definitely just don't want to take that with a grain of salt. You definitely want to um, stretch it out. Um, after you exercise the day after, if you still are, so are sore, then you really need to um, take advantage and, and do some more stretching. So um, I am going to show you three core exercises. Um, they're pretty basic, but I mean, that's where we, that's where we start is basic. So um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do a basic crunch. On a basic crunch, our form and alignment is our chin. So when we go down, we're going to go on our back just like that. Our hands are going to be at our head just like this. Okay. If you're not able to put your hands on your head, you can put them across your chest or you can even put them down by your belly button. Okay. It will... It will uh, strain the neck a little bit, but it'll be, you'll be just, you'll be fine. Um, you can also put one um, behind your head and one in front of your belly. So putting your hands behind your head, I'm going to lead with uh, my chin up to the ceiling like somebody is pulling a string with my chin toward the ceiling. Okay, that will help with um, stiffness in the neck, that will help with pain in the neck. And it looks just like this. Guys, if you want to make it harder, I'm going to walk my feet out and do another crunch. Um, thinking about belly button to spine when you're crunching, belly button to spine, and that spine is going down to the mat, okay? So there's some a basic crunch for you guys. And um, my suggestion on those crunches will be 30 seconds, rest for 10 Work another 30 seconds and rest for 10 and work another 30 seconds. Do three sets of those and see if you feel that good little burn. And that's all you're looking for is a good little burn. You're not looking for like this hard, hardcore work. It is definitely something gradual that you want to feel. And um, starting with our basic crunch, you'll definitely feel that. Second exercise I want to show you is a quarter crunch. A quarter crunch looks just like this. My hands are here. And I'm going to come up and reach for my knees. So I'm coming up a little bit further than I did with my basic crunch. If you need support with your, ne with your neck, my hand goes on my head. I still, my chin is still up. I'm not pulling my chin down to my chest. And I'm doing my basic. Great thing about exercise, it will make you breathe. Okay. So the important thing is breathing. When you don't breathe, you'll pass out. Believe me. <laughs> but definitely breathe in and out. And the key with breathing is breathing out where the hardest exercise is. Okay. If the hardest part of the exercise is coming up, then I'm going to breathe out. If it's the hardest part is going down, I'm going to breathe out. So big deep breaths in and out um, definitely will help with the oxygen. Um, go to your brain. And it will allow you to um, really, really work hard, okay, and focus. So we want to focus while we're exercising. Third exercise I'm going to show you is a full crunch, okay? You notice I do have a weight right here next to me. If you are not able to do a full crunch, grab something weighted. Um, you, if you don't have a weight, it could be um, a half a gallon of water, um, it could be a gallon of water, it depends how strong you are, um, or um, something on the heavier side. Um, I say between five and eight pounds, um, just because that's, we don't want anything any heavier than that. So the, the I'm going to show you this crunch, or I'm sorry, full sit up. 
My hands are at my head. They're across my chest. They're out by my chest. It doesn't matter. Pick, pick whatever you want to do. Um, I like to put my hands next to my ears. I'm going to do a full sit up. And when I go down, I want to think about tucking my belly button to my spine, rolling back down. Okay, when I come up, I'm thinking a good posture. So I have a good postural position. When I go up, round the back, go all the way back down. This is the modified version. I'm taking my weight. I'm going to take the weight and I'm going to swing it just a little bit. And what this does, guys, it counterbalances your weight with that weight so that you are successful. Anytime you do any kind of crunches or any kind of exercise, you want to feel successful at the end of the day, right? So let's be successful, modify accordingly with the weight, and then um, get that full sit up in. Again, you're going to be down here, right up, tuck that belly button in, one more time with the weight, one more time without the weight, good, belly button to spine, go back down. Just like the regular crunches and the quarter crunches, um, do them 30 seconds, rest for 10, 30, rest for 10, 30, rest for 10, okay? Um, that will give you a good maybe, mm, I don't know, maybe a 15 minute little workout if you're looking for something. You guys notice um, I do have a mat. You definitely want something to support your lower back. Um, if you don't have a mat, maybe get a couple blankets um, or a couple um, thicker towels and support that lower back. I'm going to show you the stretch. The stretch, I call this a scary cat. <laughs> On the scary cat, I'm pushing through my hands. I'm going to round my back. I'm going to tuck my belly button to my spine and tuck my rear end in. Does that make sense? Rear end in. Anyway, so you're just like this. You will feel that good stretch through the lower back, just in case you did feel it in your lower back. And then I'm going to go back to a cow stretch. Cow stretch, you want to look down to your mat. Okay, when you look down to your mat, you want to, um, that is aligning your spine. That is super important when you stretch, reset, and then go back up to your, your uh, scary cat pose. Push through the biggest part of your hand. Tuck the belly button to your spine. And coming back down to your cow. All right, guys. That's it for today. That's why I really wanted to go over that. Um, those three exercises. Um, crunch, quarter crunch, full sit up. Um, rewind this back over if you need to um, catch it again. Do it with me. Um, but if not, just um, jot this down on a piece of paper and start creating a, a log of workouts. Um, I find that for me, that's a healthy way to track what I've done, what I need to do again, what made me so sore, you know, um, and kind of track that. If you don't track that, you kind of kind of guess it, you having a guessing game with exercise. So um, if you guys have any questions, please drop them down below. Um, if you have any comments um, as far as uh, different modifications, um, feel free to drop them down below. I would be more than happy to show you a modification in the comment section. It's not a big deal. Um, definitely, I, it's, it's a video I can show you and post to you. Um, and if you have any, um, any suggestions on things you want to see, um, and I would be more than happy to do that for you as well because we still have, this is only week one, guys. We still have like three more weeks, three three or four, something like that, more weeks that um, I can show you things um, and you guys can learn and journal those, write those down and start your exercising program. If you're not somebody who exercise, I totally encourage you to do it. Um, I think Dr. Devin talked about it today and you know she's so knowledgeable in what she has said. Um, definitely take advantage of that. Um, listen to her thoughts and sh watch the video. Um, as far as how to do an exercise, and um, you guys will be productive. Progression, production, that's all we need on exercise, not perfection. All right, guys, have a good night, and we'll see you soon.